I say fuck that. I don't wanna, you know, what if, what if they're trying to help me out, you know, like, you know, especially in, in that movie, freaking, they're like, you know, I can't, I came to warn you, and it's all like, well, we have to keep you here, no, no, you're not listening to me, I came to warn you that something's gonna happen, some shit's gonna go down, and they just, you know, did nothing, and I was like, oh, well, they're a bunch of dumbasses, you know, that's, you know, at that time, I thought, like, well, the human race is stupid if they ever do that kind of shit. Like, if aliens did come and, you know, whatever, and we kept one of them and, you know, tried to dissect them or whatever, I'd be like, well, you, the government is a sack of shit because how would they do that shit, you know? Like, if it was something like Independence Day where they came and they just fucking started a war with us, well then shit, that's okay. But, you know, if they came, they had an ambassador, I'm pretty sure you shouldn't do anything to that fucking ambassador or else some shit would happen. But whatever, you know, that's movies, you know, movies, movies are that way so they could prove a point, you know, people will get it, you know, I mean, I totally got it, but, you know, a lot of people are like, well, you know, that's what happens, like, seriously, they said, like, in that movie, uh, I think it was the day the earth stood still or something, no, I don't think so, but, like, like, you know, they, when they brought that giant robot, alien thing they freaking like put alien they put like fucking military all around tanks and shit and like well why would you do that you know i thought i mean i could understand but you were too close you're trying to experiment on it and like you know maybe keep it at a safe distance maybe evacuate the people around it just in case but you don't go that close you know and try to like stick shit into it Cause that's just, you know, that's not cool. But you know, that like I said, it's just a movie, I guess, you know. I try to read off too much into it, but you know, it's kinda true. Cause like, I don't know, I, I think about that too much. I kinda went hella off topic, but you know, it happens. Success to the border attack. Well, shit. He better hurry up and um, come with me because, you know, whatever. Oh, God. Let me see. 41 minutes in. This will be the last battle I'll take. Am I seriously gonna have to wait for him? Because I don't want to wait for him. Already fuck up. Let me get on the horse. There's still an enemy right there. Well, fuck, I'm gonna kill you. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where, where are you going? This is gonna be like that Chinese movie. And for anybody who has Netflix, I recommend you guys to watch a, a movie called War of Arrows. It's about like this uh, Chinese dude. I think they're Chinese. Cause like for those, I did skip most of the talking. Cause I didn't want to hear any of it. But um, like the action's fucking great. Um. We're gonna, uh, you know, there's a lot of talk in the beginning, you know, pretty much, you know, how, how it starts off is like, this dude's sister is getting married, and then the mongoose come and fucking fuck shit up, and like kidnap a shitload of people, especially the, the girl, the, the sister, and like, they're just killing dudes and raping women and shit, and like... I was all like, wow, you know, I can't believe these were Asians. You know, that makes me that makes me feel bad that other Asians would do other Asians. You know, Asians would do this to other Asians, you know. But you know, that was back in the day I guess, but like <laughs> I don't know. But um yeah, it was pretty it's a pretty good movie, you know, and then the brother like goes back to the village and then like he finds out his because like he at first he was uh, outside of the town. Oh yeah, and by the way, I'm sorry if, like, I'm telling you to watch it, but I'm spoiling it for you. I won't spoil it, but, you know, I'll tell you, like, up to the up to the middle, pretty much. But anyway, yeah, like, he was in Oscar the City, because he was training, because he's like a, a bowman, you know, one of those, uh, his dad was a bowman, I guess. I'm not sure, but yeah, and like, you know, he was training, you know, about, 
you know, his arrows and everything, how to shoot an arrow, because apparently when you pull back, then you twist it, it gives you more, you know, ways to, to shoot it. It gives you more speed, gives you more of a turn, depending on how much you twist it, so, some shit like that. I don't know, I wasn't really, like, reading into it, but, like, you know, you interact with the village, found out his, his sister and shit was kidnapped, then he was just pissed, man. He started killing like, the scouts and shit, and then, like, he was, like, no mercy and shit, like, you know, tell me, tell me what I want to know, and then I might let you live, and then, you know, that kind of shit. Like, he, he, he ain't gonna let him live, like, you know, like, fuck him. Like, when, when you, you see the expression in his face, like, I might let you live, and you see his expression, and was, you're all like, well, he, no, he's not gonna let him live, like, he, he's just gonna let him die, like, there's no way he's gonna live from that, too, I mean. He got an arrow right next to his heart, so, like, um, first of all, he might not even live, you know, and, so, yeah, then they find, like, what, the people, then he starts, then he's, then the guy with the arrow, man, he, like, he's just fucking up everything, that's all I gotta say, like, he fucks up everybody, where am I going? <laughs> What was the mission again? I forgot, dude. I'm, I was too busy talking about the movie, because... Like, seriously, though, like, the, the movie is... I mean, it was amazing. That, that movie was amazing. You know, especially... Like, I'm not gonna spoil it, but, like... In the middle... I mean, like, after... In the middle, when everything started going down, like... Things got really serious. Like, you know, he found the sister. And then he was all like, well, go, go, we meet up somewhere else, you know? And then, like... He started killing like, you know, like, making impossible shots, you know, he, he, they sent the army after him, they sent, they sent the elite team and everything, and I was like, well, th these guys are pretty cool, I mean, these guys, like, oh, they're gonna fuck his shit up, like, you know, they're gonna fuck the main character up, cause they, they're, like, prepared, they're fucking animals and shit, and then the way that he started killing them off, it was like, oh, well, shit, um, you can't fuck with him, he knows how to twist his arrows, but yeah, that's how it is. I mean, that's all I'm gonna spoil. Okay. Ugh. Okay. I got kind of quiet right there, uh, because uh, I was talking to my dad real quick, but uh. Yeah, uh, that movie, that movie's pretty good. Remember, if you have Netflix, or if you want like, rent it on iTunes or whatever, it is called War of Arrows, alright? It's a foreign movie, but it's just one of those foreign movies that are like, just awesome. Just like, just watch it. It's, it'll blow your mind. It's like, I'm not gonna say it's like, Wanted, because Wanted, you know, it's, it's like, really, like, you know, it's too far. Like, it's... It's like, okay, if you watch the Avengers, it's like when, it's like, let me say, like, you know how Hawkeye, I don't know if you watch the Avengers, and I probably spoke with this one part, but like, there's a part where Hawkeye, he fucking aims the arrow without looking and just shoots and then kills somebody, and I was like, whoa, shit. It's kind of like that, you know, where he doesn't even look, he just shoots, and then boom, he hits somebody. You know, he gets double kills, and like, you know, with one arrow and shit. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta say, Call of Duty style, double kills, one arrow, you know, all that shit. It was awesome. I love the movie. Um, I recommend, I highly recommend watching that movie. So, yeah. Uh, what else is there to talk about? Um, shit, I gotta go, go kill these guys real quick. Let me see, Himiko is advancing north. I haven't been watching a lot of Chinese movies. But, I mean, War Arrows has been like the one Chinese movie I've watched in a while. Because, pretty much, there's not a lot of Chinese movies to watch. Because, uh, you know, I mean, there's not, there's no Jackie Chan or Jet Li movie to watch. You know, I miss those movies. Watching Jack Chan or Jet Li. What's up, dude? Can I talk to you? Do I have to kill you? 
It's saying that I can't. I don't have to talk to you. 